Generic greetings and welcome to Preview Plus Ronin. This is a turn-based action platformer where you jump around and kill people. There are five figures who you are on a quest to kill. I don't know why, it's a revenge thing apparently. But in order to get to them we have to chop through several hundred people. It is probably best described as Kill Bill via Gunpoint. At least that's how I would describe it. I have featured it once before on the channel. I actually featured the demo on the channel and because I really wanted to play it and because I thought, yeah, that looks pretty good. I played the demo, thought, yep, that's, that's going to be quite good, that. And then about a week later, it came out in early access. It was sort of a soft launch. There was no fanfare, nothing like that. As far as I can tell, it was basically, yeah, it, it's in early access. So this is technically the early, early access build, but it's feature complete. The campaign's done. It's basically uh, bug squishing and polish to be added and I did play it as soon as it came out the date came out and thought you know what no I'm going to leave this because it was in a state that I would describe as uh, beta you know there was a couple of rough edges and it did need uh, sort of tweaking up a bit and after about three weeks which is well now roughly when you're seeing this it uh, it's it's a lot better so I thought it's about time I show you it so this is technically early access but you know it's basically a beta stage uh, the, the way I like it anyway I'm just going to go to continue and I will show you I think I'm going to jump in one of the missions I've just done. I've probably played about an hour and a half of the game so far. And obviously I've played the demo as well. And I've got... Uh, I've done the first chapter. Each chapter, as far as I can tell, has three missions. And basically, as, as I said, you have to kill uh, a, a figurehead of some kind. Uh, there's like five, five people you have to kill. And I've killed the first one, uh, which is the old man. The next one is... Uh, I was going to say weasel, but no, uh, it's uh, someone here we have to kill. Uh, we have to go to a disco mission, but I'm actually, I've am actually i got it unlocked. Can we go to the next one? Yeah, you can see that's all locked. Looks like there's three for each each one, so there's, there's looks like there's enough in there. Um, I have to do this guy, and it is the skyscraper mission I've just done. But as you can see, some of these say skill point earned, right? The way you get skill points is if you complete all of the objectives, then you get a skill point, and that allows you to level up your skills. So you can go for, like, unarmed attack or sword recall or unlimited decoys and things like that. Unlimited decoys would be pretty funky. That would be really, really good. But uh, either way, I'm trying to go for unarmed attack, execute a stunned enemy. So we'll see what happens here. Let's just go to chapters, and we're going to do the chapter that I've just done which is the skyscraper because that'll allow me to explain how it works and things like that and without having to go, oh, that's new, that's new, that's new. Right, so this is us, the vengeful heroine in the center and we can walk around. As you can see, we're sort of in a weird blue and white tracksuit with a samurai sword and a crash helmet on. Our UI is very, very clean and simple. We've got some arrows pointing to the objectives, which are up here. There's one there. We can continue going. It's uh, actually jerky a bit there. We've got one there. We basically need to go to the computers and hack them. The, the actual objectives, as far as I can tell, are very, very, you know, sort of go here and then kill loads of stuff. It, it's basically about the about the execution of execution, I guess. <laughs> That's probably the best way to describe it. It is actually about the execution of execution. It's about going to a place and killing people in the most efficient way possible. And the combat is, the combat is good and it's uh, quite solid. It is turn-based, and I don't truly understand how the turn-based system works. Like, I know it goes turn-based, and then you kill people, and when you get, like, uh, certain kills, you can then activate different abilities. So one kill, out, you use your holo projector, two allow you to sort of sword through, and then if you get the end, you get a limit break, which, as far as I can tell, is just basically, like, a free turn. But, uh, yeah, anyway, I'll just show you a little bit of that. So we can scroll around. Obviously, it's uh, 2D and all that, and we can just jump around. So we can go, hut like that, and jump around. We can jump onto walls, like so. And we can climb up and down. Now, obviously, this is in the dark. You can see this is the light bit here, and this is the dark. If we are in the dark, then we generally won't be seen. Now, there's a guy down the bottom. You see, he's uh, sort of... I don't know what he was doing there, looking on his looking on his watch. There's several different types of enemies. These are just your standard bog -o guards, okay? They've got a gun, but they are very, very easy to take out. This guy has got a machine gun, so when he sees you, he will just start firing, and it'll fire for two or three turns. Or I think it's two turns. And if you, ever, uh, if you ever touch any bullets, by the way, that's it. Any bullets touch you, dead. Instantly gone. It's just a case of, yeah, you don't get any second chances, gone. So there's another one there. They're all around here. These guys, where are the samurais? There we are. These samurai guys are horrible. They sort of do like a bit of a blitz where they go whoosh across the screen. And if you're in that, you just get chopped up. If you jump near them, they chop you up. If you try and fling your sword... Sometimes it can repel it. It's just a big pain. The big pain. The only way to do it is wait until they do a little sort of zap. And then you go ha and then jump on top of them. These electrical cables, by the way. Yeah, you don't want to touch them. Anyway, let's go to the edge of the... Oh, I didn't really mean to do that. Uh, I wanted to actually kill this guy. So let's just go behind him and... 
There we go, execution. You can see we get like a little symbol to show that we can actually execute them. Now that guard is not very, uh, he hasn't got, I think he's got perception of three maybe, even perception of four. Definitely, he's definitely on minus three. Right, okay, let us jump in the window and we'll jump on top of these guys and bang through the window and then hit him. So now we're in turn based mode, okay? So, that says three there because that means it's like sort of three turns stunned. What I'm going to do is execute him in the air. And there we are. And then I will jump on this guy here. And then I will jump there. And then finally kill him. Like I said, I don't understand how this limit break thing... That's your limit break there activating so you get a free turn. But I don't understand how that works. I think it's when you interact with enemies. Because as you saw, when I jumped through there and hit him, I got one. Chopping him got two. Third one to hit that guy there, but I got minus one for just moving on top of that guy without hitting him. So I don't truly understand how it works. Anyway, let's go in the elevator and then we'll go and jump up. I like the way you don't stand in it. You sort of jump up and like sort of clamp onto the ceiling. It's quite good. I do like the way it looks. It is very, very simple, but it's clean. And that's what you want in a game where it's about the precision combat. You don't want a very, very cluttered uh, map and such. Look at that. That's... um quite ominous. This is like Death Tower. Anyway, we're going to come to the end of this and it's going to go ting and open up and then we're into more combat. As I said, it's about that. Now, it does save pretty much after every encounter. So there is a, you know, if you die, which you will do a lot of dying in this, you will uh, obviously restart back at the same place. So I'll probably restart back here. So I'm going to come out the elevator and then I'm going to chop them up. Ha! And then when you go into combat, it goes, woo -woo, you can hear that. And now I'm in combat. So you can see there's a line to where that guy is going to uh, sort of shoot and that will be shoot next round. There's a certain circle around me with some little arrows that points to the enemies. I'm going to jump on him. There we go, and that stuns him. That guy's going to keep firing, and I could execute him. I might as well. There we go. And then I've got my free action, which I'm going to jump up and batter into that guy there. Now, I don't know why he... Ah, what he's doing there, he's actually calling for backup, which I don't want. What I want to do is go here. I want to then execute him, because you can see he's got a visor across him. That means he's going to call for backup, and then I want to go over here... I want to then go up to there, which knocks him over, and then execute him in mid-air. Job done, and... Ah, this is bad. This is very, very bad now. Because what's happened is the guards on the other side have actually seen me, so I need to jump straight down and start taking these guys out, which is going to be even more difficult. There we go, there's that guy knocked out, and there's that guy knocked out. And then, if I execute him, I should move up, which I've done. And then the bullet will hopefully zip past. No, I've limit break it, so I can then jump on him. And then chop him up. And then these two guards are trying to get up. So I'll quickly jump over there. And then bat into one, which bats into the other, which means I can then go chop. And then chop. And there's them pretty much dead, but their head's in the wall. Wow, I didn't really think that was going to happen. I thought they were going to call the guards. The problem is that I need to kill these guys. I need to kill them all without um, without alerting, I was going to say the authorities, but it's not really authorities, like the other guards and such. So we'll see what happens. Can we go down here? We can. We can have a look around here. The problem I have is that I don't want to alert these guards, but if I go around here and start chopping up here, maybe that guard will see me, which will alert them. What I'm going to do... Do I want to do this side or the other side? I'll go up here and then I'll run through this side. The fact that you have to get all of the objectives done to get a skill point is a little bit iffy, but we'll go downstairs. Try this out. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to watch here. That guy's fiddling with his tie. Will he turn around? Don't think he is. What I'm going to do, I'm going to jump out the window, and then you can use your grappling hook to latch onto the wall, which will swing me around through that window, and then I'll be able to chop his head off. Here we go. Through there. Grappling hook. Swing. Okay, that didn't work at all. All that happened... <laughs> that didn't work at all. I went through that window, which all of these would... You would have thought they'd hear that, but I went through the window. All the glass went down. They would have seen all of that. They saw me swing past and land on there, then climb up the wall, but they didn't... I don't think they saw me. So we'll have to swing again. There we go. Through there, and then... There we go. So the machine guy is now the machine gun guy is now down so them they are now uh ha pretty much out i will fling my sword at him because i need to oh that's not good that is not good at all because <laughs> there's a samurai being called in and the samurai oh which one's the samurai i hope it's that one 
It is a samurai. Ooh, that was close. That was very, very close. The samurai are really, really horrible, as I said, but I didn't realize they were going to come through that door when I uh, when I came this way. But good, good news, everyone. I managed to take them all out. That's good. So let's just charge up here, and we need to come back, and we can use our grappling hook and then sort of lift ourselves up. There's a reason why you'd want to do that. It's because you can actually um, execute people and such. So if you're in the darkness, you can sort of execute them by stringing them up, but I found that you don't really tend to do that because of the way the missions are right so i need to take out these again because you have to take out all of the enemies to get the objective so i'm gonna have to smash through the window again and then latch onto it come through there and then chop that guy up there which sadly only stuns them so i'm gonna land down there and then i do really need to kill that guy hopefully that bullet will go over the top of me there we are it has and this guy will push and he will hopefully go through that window but i look at he's gone through the window so i'm just gonna jump up yeah he's gone through the window so he should be dead i'm gonna quick jump back up there and then chop that guy in the face there we go and then jump back down and then that guy is gone job done so i think that's pretty much our turnover yeah and yeah the what happens if this if they fall out the window which on this mission i found that getting the samurai to fly out the window or just pushing people out the window tends to work i like that that is a nice effect the blood dripping down the wall and then landing that is good i'm pretty sure that's been recently added as well because i didn't see that before it's a the, the actual the the fact that they've you know there've been little little changes it is very much, when, when you, people talk about like games and stuff, it is very much the last 5% that really makes it. The little tweaks that you can turn a really either mediocre or even bad game into something that's really, really good. Right, so, this is going to be quite difficult now. Oh, damn it. So, that guy has seen me. He has actually seen me through there, which is not good. So, what I'm going to have to do is go over there. Like that. And then, can I string this guy up? I can't. I don't think so. I'm going to have to take them out manually. Uh, jump over here, and then I'm just going to keep coming down, and finally I should be able to go back that, but I'm dead. Yeah, there you go. Shot me in the ankle, I go down. So, not great. As I'm really glad there's not an objective to complete the level without dying at least once, but I've done very well. Up to this point, I've done quite well. As you can see, it saves pretty much after every kill or after every encounter, so which is why I can just go up here and then take this out. But this time, I'm going to smash through this and hopefully take one of these guys out straight away. And what I'll probably do is take out the guy. I don't know which guy I'll take out, actually. I'll just jump straight up. There we go. And that... Ah, oh, that's calling... Ah, oh, that's lockdown. Right, okay, this is bad. So I need to take that guy out, which will hopefully continue on to hit that guy, which it has. And then I'll kill him. There we are. And then we will jump back over. As you can see, they've got a turn before they're down. I will fling... I won't fling my sword at anything, because I'm just going to go... Bang! Which will knock them all out, and then it is just a case of one's down, and then the second one's down. There we go, that was simple enough, and hopefully that's going to make this another save point. Excellent. Well, can we go out here? We can go out here. So is there a reason to go out here? Well, it means we can go up and around. Oh, yes, we can swing around and kill that guy. Instead of walking in there, and, uh, I mean, if we walk in there... We can easily take that guy out in the back. No problem at all. Just go, and he's gone. But then I've got all these, and there's a machine gun guy over there. So I'm just going to walk over the top. And just because I like to, I really like swinging, like, round and through these windows. And there we go. And one guy's been taken out. And then we'll quickly jump down. That guy's going to fly out the window. That's what I mentioned. The, the best way to take these guys out is get them to fly out the window. Because after their little jump, they're not... Yeah, they're sort of stunned. They're a little bit sort of out of breath. I mean, if you run that far, you'd probably be out of breath as well. And uh, you can see he's just going to fall to his death on them electrical cables. Now, I'm just noticing the background there. It looks like they're doing something. Maybe them. I think they might be manufacturing them or maybe sort of implanting them into suits or something weird. Look at that. It's like it's one of them in a the machine or something. There we go. Right, so we've taken this guy out. We now have a sort of a free turn, which I will use and I guess land on him. Ah, we've got another guy coming. Chop him up. And I will activate one of my abilities, which is a hologram. There we go. Now we've got a hologram. I will then put my... Oh! <laughs> my string over there, my little grappling hook. Chop that guy up. The, um... Ah, oh, are we... Ah, this guy's, um... I was going to say, he's he's actually stopped. He's uh, realised that, well, every th all, we, we went out of um, turn-based mode for some reason because of the, uh, there we go, kill all, um, uh, all enemies. 
And we went out of turn this mode because uh, he went out the door and he couldn't see me. Let me just pick up my projector and then we'll hack that computer. And then there we are. So main objective, get to the motorcycle. Uh, sorry, main objective is done. So kill every, uh, hack all the terminals. Uh, secondary objective of kill everybody is on there. And hopefully our third objective is done as well, which is not alert the guards. So let's see. Where do we need to get? We need to get to there, which the best way to get there would be through there, across that way. Yeah, that's fine. Obviously, the doors, when they're green, it means you can go through them. However, if you have a... Uh, if you've, I, I don't know if you have to kill someone. I think it just says unlock there. As long as there's, like, a red pad next to it, you can unlock the door. So there we are. I really want to go down and... Um just for just for the sake of it, just go out there and then um, in there. Be, oh damn it, we didn't do it. We did, <laughs> I wanted to break the window. So there. Oh for God damn it! It's because you've got really really long legs. There we go. And hopefully that'll be right. Right. Look. We because we're just tapping the bottom of that. We're not breaking the window. So try it again. There. Surely that's right. There we go. Finally, and we'll zip back up. That's actually an addition. I'm I'm sure that that zip back up wasn't in the uh, the previous build. As I said, I I played it and went. Mm, it's uh, it's good. It's all right. But there's a lot of faults with it. And uh, yeah, there's been a lot of um, bug fixes and polish and things added like that. And that blood dripping down the wall. But look at that. I mean, we're going down elevator with all of these people dead. We're just like happily going, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, everything's fine. It like say, Kill Bill meets Gunpoint is the best way I could describe it. I mean, to say that, a lot of people were saying, oh, it's a Gunpoint clone. It's got nothing to do with Gunpoint. I mean, it is inspired by Gunpoint, and even the developer said it is inspired by Gunpoint. Tom Francis, the guy that made Gunpoint, actually played an early uh, game of uh, an early build of this and said, yeah, it's uh it, it, it's, you know, I, I, I sort of, it's, people are calling it gunpoint, but I don't know why. It's uh, it's it's 2D side-on, and that's that's pretty much it. I mean, there's very, very little to, like, obviously gunpoint's a stealth game. This is a combat game, and we just need to jump on our motorcycle. Can we jump on it like that? Yeah, we can. Should we see it? Here we go. And... Run, 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 run. There we go. I'll fly off my motorcycle. Avoid triggering the alarm. Completed. Uh, of kill all enemies. Completed. Spare civilians. Completed. Easy. Continue. Unspelled skin points, uh, skill points. Uh, unarmed attack. Execute stunned enemy. There we go. We have now got that ability. I think I'll go for sword throw eventually. I've got this one here. Stealth kill. Hang up uh, unsuspecting enemies from the ceiling. That has only been useful in a couple of situations. But to be fair, it only cost me a skill point. So it's uh, okay. Perform two actions in one turn. Limit break. That's quite good. What's that? Shruck and rain. While in air, stun all enemies. That that sounds pretty cool as well. What's that one? Shadow Strike. Teleport to an enemy, stunning them. That's even better. That's really, really good. That one's unlimited decoys, and that one is teleport to previously created decoy. Sweet! I don't know if there's going to be any more added. I think that might be it, but either way, that's, that's enough, isn't it? That is enough. It means you can... Just play it in different ways. Yeah. Anyway, I think that is all I really want to show you of uh, Ronin. It is fairly bloody good. I like it. I really like it. It's, as I said, completely different from Gunpoint, which is what I was... I, I love Gunpoint. I think it's an amazingly good game. And when I first heard about this, I thought, oh, cool, a, a combat version of Gunpoint. And, yeah, it's not really... It, it shares, you know, its perspective. Like, its side-on 2D perspective, and that's it, really. There's very little to do with it. Obviously, it's very basic It's um, in terms of its skills and things like that. So, yeah, there's some similarities there, but... If, if you looked at Gunpoint and went, I wish that was I wish it was loads more combat in that, then this is the game for you. And if you haven't played Gunpoint, then A, I recommend it, and B, uh, this is um, just as good. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Early access, as I said, but uh, it's just, you know, it's perfectly playable now. And it's quite cheap as well. I think it's less than, I think it's about 10, uh, 10 pounds or something, which um, so far, can't argue with that. Let's have a quick look at chapters. I've done them. I've done, I've done five missions so far. So that's uh, five. So I think it's what, three each? Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen missions in total. That That's fine. That's fine. The, you know, they take about 10, 15 minutes to complete and longer if you're actually not very good. So yeah, yeah, recommended. Solid recommendation on that one. It is good. Link's in the description so you can check it out yourself. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.